would be right now as far as the music industry. Do you think he'll be hot? More so, what would the music talking industry about Tupac, be y'all. if yeah. Tupac was still here? Yeah, if Tupac was still here, where would the music industry be? And I think... I think it would still be in the same spot. That's my no. answer. No. You know what, Jay? Everybody disagrees with you the most. Anyway, but you know so what? <laughs> what I'm saying is... That's because... <laughs> what I'm saying is... I don't always think like everybody else. We see. Like, people jump on one topic and they join the bandwagon. I'm just saying, point one period, the way it's I see the music... It's bandwagon, I see. The, the, the way I see the music industry is, it's commercial. Everything is commercial. Tupac wouldn't have never went commercial. And but that's why he what? wouldn't have been hot. The industry went commercial as soon as the big dogs that were like founders of hip hop died literally died off <laughs> like, I'm just saying point by point literally one man Biggie died Pac died one Easy man died. wasn't gonna keep the music game the same that's all I'm saying well I'm not we thinking, not talking about one man though keep it the same but if Pac. his presence was still here and it was more of the new artists um trying to cause all, all have the to new work artists a lot are I think, just trying to be like whoever they thought was hot at the moment I think he would've just been an extra person for somebody to come up off of Talking yes. about Pac? Yes. What do you mean by that? I think like oh, yeah. people would have just made beef songs with him just because oh, he, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because they, they use beef in the industry to come up. Yeah. People make beef songs with Pac just because he Pac, not because he his what he doing in the rap. So uh, my question to you then would have to be, what kind of artist do you put Pac at? Like, what o- do you think? What kind school. of? No, I mean like <laughs> lyrical level. Lyric, I think he a lyricist. I, I really think he. So do you? Th- I think his lyrics was there. I ain't gonna say that. I think I think he could really rap. Unlike the people here now, but as far as the people that's listening and buying the albums, they not they wouldn't buy that. You know what? I'm gonna be totally honest with you. The urban community doesn't buy albums anyway, so that doesn't. Even I, really... That's why I said the people that buy albums. <laughs> which I'm talking about the Caucasian community. <laughs> <laughs> See, <laughs> the urban community doesn't even buy albums. Exactly. Well, so I don't know. Pac, my point. I, I, but Pac. How many white fans did he have? Pac had lots of white. A fans. lot of white fans. My brother was white, and he was a diehard Pac fan back but in the that's day. That's not the point. The but point he was a, is he was a fan now, of Bone Thugs, now, Pac, Biggie. We talked about back in the 80s, 90s. I just think we because they're now. not around anymore, people have have went over and transitioned into this new realm of hip hop. I don't think it was it would be hot today. I know that no, this is see this is what you're you're doing is saying that if they were the same as they were then now. No, of course not because everybody has to change with the time. Exactly. But evolution but I do wise, believe exactly. that if Pop and Big were still in a game within these past 15 mm-hmm. years, it still would have been shifted in a game of course. Yeah. But I still think that their presence would have been relevant and I think that we would have had more artists that are on their level than we have on other and, and you know what? The only the only thing the only reason I'm saying I'm saying that too because I don't think Pac would have changed at all. To be honest, yeah, I, mean, I don't think I don't think just because like everything started going commercial, I don't think he would have ever went commercial. But you know, Pac he would have kept always, it the same he, way Pac he was. Pac was Pac, but he still always had his crossover music. Yeah, he still had his crossover music. Mm-hmm. So I think his crossover music would have probably set the the uh, the bar for other people's crossover music that nowadays because mm-hmm. like right now. When Drake came out to me, he was a trendsetter because now all the songs that guys are sounding like Drake to me, mm-hmm. if you ask me. Yeah, when Wayne extremely. Came out, well, you know, Wayne's been out forever, but when he came, became Little Wayne the way that he is mm-hmm. right now, then it just came with a whole bunch of other little little Wayne's following him. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So I just believe that if Pac and Big was still here, whatever they were doing at this moment would have still been very relevant, and we would have seen all right. more people like. Now him. my question: If if Pop was here today, who would sell more records, Lil Wayne or Pop? We, I don't think you could really Lil answer Wayne. that. Uh, Lil Wayne would. Lil Wayne. Even if but Pop if, changed his game over. But how? But, but, but what if? But what if the game? If Pop was still here though, though, if Pac was still here though, how do we? How are we even sure that the industry would be where it's at right now? So how could we name that? I'm telling you, the end, man. Because I, I, I'm just If you could at actually it. think that. I mean, if I pop was still it. around, do you really think the evolution of hip hop would have evolved yes. like this? Yes. Honestly, because yes. Lil if Wayne would still, still be yeah. here anyway, because Lil Wayne's been rapping for the past 15, 16, yeah. 17 but would years. He, but would he be doing electro dance music? Probably. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I mean, you can't change that he gave. Probably. I don't know. I mean, I don't think, yeah. I think he would still be doing the same as he's doing now. 
like I said, it probably wouldn't have been so much of a shift with all the new artists sounding just like him and everybody on his camp because they would have had other choices. They would have had other options. Yeah. They don't have those other options. So that's the reason why the whole game shift. But I still believe that the major players in the game would have still been doing what they're doing. As far yeah. as Lil Wayne and Jay-Z and all yeah. of them, like, they still would be them. I do believe Well, that. yeah, they'd be them, but I'm, I don't know. I'm talking about the overall sound of the industry. That's what I mean. Like, the overall sound, I believe, would change a little <laughs> bit because they would have had more options. A lot of artists, they come out right now, Everything they coming out electric, trying to be like the last person, yeah. the, the biggest person at the, at the time mm-hmm. or whatever. Now yeah. everybody trying to get on David Guetta track. And count it like this. See? This is the whole industry now. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. I mean, literally everybody in the industry is on not EDM me. music. Not me. <laughs> you're not, not me. you're not in the majors. I don't got to be. We talking major. about the majors. I'm, I'm in my majors. But we talking about pop. Yeah, yeah but so. you know, because a lot of people, <laughs> artists are smarter. Artists are smarter nowadays, and they and they're learning and they're figuring things out. It's not all about America, or it's not all about your your hood. What yeah. you say? What it's, you say? It's not all about America. It ain't all say? about America. Is that what? Wait a minute. What did you just say? I need a rap money. Say? You said it's not all about what? Oh, God, is it bad? No, just uh, repeat that. It's just not all about America. Okay, I just wanted to reiterate that. What you, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the artists are smarter now, and because of it, that's why you hear more of this kind of music yeah. and, and the crossover and everything. You got to get in about where the money is. Not to mention right. that with the record labels nowadays, a lot of artists aren't really making money. The record labels are taking their yeah, money. So they have to do what they have to do to get overseas to, to do those shows yeah. right. to make that money. Because mm-hmm. where's the money at? Overseas. Oh, yeah, that's I, what I just at. came from overseas <laughs> and I'm going back <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right I love America though don't get me wrong I'm not saying that the game's all messed up but it's messed up to the level where if you're there, not smart it's enough, too you political can't, over you here move yeah. around. it's too political over here there's yeah. too many ties that are holding the industry to like kind of like a ransom almost yeah like you gotta do this for this money or you it, but overseas they're kind of just like yay just like, say whatever you. yeah we like your love time we love you all. We love you so, all. I just, I don't know. <laughs> you are, no. I love you all. Don't ever do that again, Jay. <laughs> I love you all. Don't ever do that again, Jay. <laughs> now, you wanted me to be a character, so I'm being a character. Yeah, I, I, love love you. I love you all. You know what? Okay, let's do this. I got something we can do. Because Jay is, Jay is, uh, he on some, I don't know what he's doing. She having fun. Yeah, I'm enjoying myself. That's great. You know why? Because you always on here acting like your panties is in a bunch. Oh, man. So I'm glad that you they You got panties in a bunch? No, I didn't. I, <laughs> I'm glad that your panties is over there loose. <laughs> got some air going through the there. <laughs> That's messed up. You got up. some airflow. <laughs> <laughs> That's just wrong. Cotton that's too tight is always hey, bad. So, so check this though. <laughs> I, I just read this little article. <laughs> and you know how like it's the big deal about they trying to keep the border patrol. They don't want, um, you know, people. Me, Mexicans. Yeah, Mexicans coming over the border. But the funniest, craziest thing happened today: 129 Mexican prisoners escaped jail and went and to came Texas. Here. Yeah, they in Texas chilling. <laughs> they escaped jail. They actually. 129 of them get away. Yo, that, Do you know that they get over the border know. every day? Well, you don't no. think they can get. 129 get out of prison. It say, get over the they probably it say dug their way it, out. Yes, it say they literally dug their way See? out of jail. In Mexico. And it's that close. You know okay, what? Listen. <laughs> that you close? know what? I'm going to yeah. tell you something. <laughs> Mexican, the Mexican race. You know what? That I've come across. They, they it's probably, probably some like of the most hard working people yeah. at, that I've ever met. You got, you got me. I don't see they about, dug, they, they, I don't they see about 14 residents build a house in the day. I mean, I mean, so yeah. this 129, they dug that tunnel. You don't think, they, wow. yeah, they got out <laughs> and they ran. They were, and they, and they ran. <laughs> Oh my God, 129, like that's the number is what's getting to me. You know, that's a lot. That's, That's crazy, yo. But I, if, if I no, was there, they, trust me, I would have been 130. <laughs> 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 Look, Summer's like, I'm getting in on that bandwagon. I'm, I'm out. out. <laughs> Look, I'm out. <laughs> well, they got, they got, they got a get out of jail free card, and they got a free trip to the United States. Yeah, didn't they? Oh my God, <laughs> you that's can't crazy. Beat that. That's a two for one package. Where's Jose and them? We need <laughs> Jose, man, yeah. I need a help. 
nigga hoe? Oh, what? What? Can you repeat that? I need help digging a hole. Digging a hole. Digging a hole, guys. Digging a hole. Okay, because that sounded like something else. Digging a hole? In English. A hole? No, I thought you said something else. I can't get it on Oh, a hole is a garden tool. So, a chef just... Digging with one. Digging with one is different. I mean, I can dig with a hoe. It's a garden tool, guys. God, keep your freaking brains under the gutter, Jesus. Would you, would you ever cook a final meal for your significant other one? I cook those a lot. No, I mean, mean like a final, a meal? final meal. Yeah. yeah. A, what do you mean? a chef just admitted to killing his wife by cooking her meal. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> I thought you meant like Here's your last meal Yeah, yeah This your last This is literally no your last meal <laughs> <laughs> She won't be going nowhere no more No, I didn't know that Oh my That's god That's crazy um, No, I probably would never do that That's terrible I mean, you're asking me Yeah, I'm, I'm like asking you Like, like what? Or, <laughs> or live air Oh, mama, mama, mama <laughs> I just cooked them in down <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she geez. said, you just asked me if I'm going to be a murderer. I, a I mean, I I mean like, that's incrimination. That's incrimination. <laughs> that's incrimination. That's my music. You know, I'm not really trying that to That is incrimination. Uh, He's trying to crazy, get you hemmed uh, up. He's trying to get you hemmed up. Tommy, <laughs> 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 you know, let's, let's hem him up. That, Hold on real quick. Time out. Nope, time out. <laughs> no. I think, um, I think you know, Summer, <laughs> do you, do you <laughs> Summer, do you agree with me on this? Um, I think we should hear Jay sing a little bit. Just a few notes. Nah. <laughs> You don't think so? I don't, I don't believe in putting people on the spot like you that because what? I hate when people do that to me. That but is we're glorious. That's glorious. But we're artists. And I'm we're going to be put on the spot for and the rest of our careers. Listen, where is it? I'm an artist, so that means I always have my CD. <laughs> so anytime <laughs> exactly. somebody wants to hear something, here you go. Oh, Lord exactly. Jesus. I guess that's, but you know what? You, you rap, though. Yeah. It's I, different for singers. Sing, singers, for singers. I, you know, I've been down here a year. And I can't even name how many times I've been put. Been I was just put on spot on the spot in in the showcase on Wednesday. Sick. Wow. Talking about some. Well, I can't let you in the gate if I don't know if you can sing. I said, oh. Um, <laughs> can't let you in the gate. Well. Who in the hell let the gate open? Right. God. <laughs> so Jay, just just two notes. <sighs> <laughs> that is the wrong kind of <laughs> notes. <laughs> What's the name of that? We song? are not all I need to on that. that song. Jay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Y'all are crazy, no. man. She always trying to put in a spot. Okay, Summer, we did this with TK, so we're no. going to do this with you. All right. It's crazy. One man in the industry, if you could have them, who would it be, and what would you do to them? If I can have them for myself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what would you do to them, and who would it be? Go. Oh, Sugarfoot. <laughs> Sugarfoot. Sugar uh, he got a sign. No, you. you like, I was, just, I was, <laughs> he was like Sugarfoot. Yeah, that's. I'm like, who's Sugarfoot? I was, he must be Sugarfoot. I was censoring. <laughs> I was censoring. Yeah, that's <laughs> messed up. Yeah. He got excited. Nah, I was, was like Sugarfoot. I was censoring. Don't get excited. I was censoring. Oh, she knew who Sugarfoot was. I thought she was gonna show me a picture of Sugarfoot. <laughs> you are so crazy. Oh, wow. I was censoring, choose? y'all. Who did you choose? Who did I choose? I didn't choose anybody because I was the one asking. You know, my answer was. But I could, I my could, answer was. <laughs> that that, that Look, really that's was the his safest answer. answer. And that really was <laughs> his answer. I didn't, I didn't have that question asked me, so I could answer that. Let I me mean, see. I, 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 uh, <laughs> I'm speechless. I like a lot of um, artists. Only one. Well, we're not talking about artists you like. We're talking about artists you want. Tell me One? Like when I say like. Look. No, not artists. Like it, like it, it don't even have to be. I like you. It don't even have to be an artist. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it doesn't even have to be an artist. Oh, it could be anybody oh, yeah, yeah. in the just entertainment anybody. world. Oh, one man. Really just. Yeah, we just brought And what would you do to them? Just one. One man. One man, baby. One piece. And what would you do? No, because if I pick a Keep certain person, no, because listen, 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 I have a reason for this, okay? I tried that too. <laughs> no, listen. This don't work. <laughs> you know, I'm Creole. I'm a mixture unless of races. It, unless I don't it's want a name to pick and a certain uh, race of person and then people are like, oh, she only likes such and such. And let people, like let's be a little bit more grown in that. Who are you talking I like about? I like all kind of races. Look, this don't so, have okay, nothing so to do with race man, thing, Just to put that out before man. she answers this question. Just, just y'all, just to get Can it I together. Can I more than one? No, one. One Yeah, man. What are they into that freaking stuff? Well, one man, what would you do to them? 
<laughs> oh my God! We would like to hear this. <laughs> this is censored. Let's, let's hear this. <laughs> this let's might hear need this. to be censored. Let's hear this. But try and oh un- try and censor. <laughs> try and censor to the best of your ability, and and let's let's go on ahead and uh. Go on ahead and talk about this. Now, so hey. okay. I like Justin Timberlake. What would you Justin do Justin Timberlake. Summer? What would, do what would you do, time? Summer? <laughs> Center, please. But what would you do? I don't know. I kiss and hug Justin Timberlake. Yeah, right. <laughs> he ain't no daggone teddy bear. He is a teddy bear. No. I'm going to sleep on that answer. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I, would, I would do with Justin Timberlake. Hey, you have that's to. a safe answer, though. Don't answer. Yeah. Don't answer. Yeah. Don't talk to I'm Jay really gonna make you answer about nothing like that. Jay, Jay doesn't. He, Jay keep it real. <laughs> don't answer that. <laughs> right. If you love gonna get you in trouble, don't answer. I mean, you have to get me in trouble, but I just, you know. I just, what would you do to him, Summer? Yeah. What would you do then? Nah, you just put yourself out there. It's not gonna get you in trouble. Tell us. And you'll run you your finger. Like he's you'll run your finger. The door. Yeah. Run your, <laughs> see, see, you know what? This is two against one, Jay. We, we ain't even on what you want. So, you would run your fingers through his curlies. <laughs> <laughs> Do he have hair now? No, he doesn't have hair right now, but I would make him grow his curly hair back because he's the cutest. But other than that... Anything else, Juicy, that you do? No. Next, <laughs> next question. <laughs> Next question. Next question. <laughs> of course, you you know what, Summer? He the oddball. He don't be liking to talk about nothing outwardly. That was kind of, that was like the biggest, craziest thing I've ever said and done on radio. But I'm doing this for the listener because I know I got some Azul Army people out there listening right now. I'm so telling like, you, she I got a big like army too. Kind of stuff, so. For real. <laughs> she got people from everywhere talking about some Puerto <laughs> No. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so what else can I ask you that's crazy? Do you have a boyfriend, Summer? No, I don't. You hear that, Josh? She's single! Yes, I'm single. Uh oh. <laughs> Booyah. I'm single. Yes. That's a good thing, though. Yeah, single is good. Yeah. Single is always good. <laughs> single is very good. OMG. I see that we like 10 minutes out. Why did our, our shows always go so quick? That's because yeah. we talk about crazy stuff. Yeah. Like, we, That's because we get, like get when, wild. Yeah, when, when your mind gone. Bands mm. make a dance. Oh, Bands can make good dance. speaking of that, do you know Kay <laughs> Michelle? <laughs> <laughs> that sounded all crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, it was a question like, what? <laughs> make a dance? You know what's crazy? Yeah. Kay yeah. Michelle. Uh-huh. Kay Michelle on Love and Hip Hop mm-hmm. wrote a version of Bands and Make a Dance. This in Rashida. Mm-hmm. This in... Um, Carrie Red and this in uh, Toya Lil Wayne's ex. Wow, saying that they pop they for money down here in Atlanta and did that in a stage set for one of her concerts. Wow, and was saying all of that. Do they do that though? I, I don't doubt it. I, I don't doubt don't it. Know. I wouldn't doubt it. I this is Atlanta. It. Yes. This I is like strip it. club capital yeah. for all you men out there that's never been to Atlanta. <laughs> Atlanta is strip club capital. Oh, they know. I bet you. <laughs> they know. Magic I'm, City. Titan. You know who else used to strip though? Huh. Since they talking about strippers. Hoops. Duh. You know who else used to strip? Who? Um, Brad Pitt. How about that one? I Talk about shocking. He, no, that. he was seriously, he was a Chippendale. And then Eve used to strip. I, I saw online I the Eve other day. I saw pictures yeah, of I seen on online the other day. There was like 20 celebrities that used to strip before Yeah, they it's got. a lot of them. People used it's to be, really be strippers. Like, be, um, full man, long they, long they get that cash. They try to get they, that check. They hungry. Yeah. They want some filet mignon and some, some what you call well, it? Look, that check is what led them up to the check they're getting up. Right. So I ain't mad at them. They finance themselves. <laughs> <laughs> right, I, wouldn't I need an investor. Oh, I can do it myself. That's right. They <laughs> <laughs> to get me a deal. They to get me a deal. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, y'all crazy. Yeah. All right, but you know what though? It was a I don't know if it was a rumor, but they said that Jay Z pretty much went to the label and was like, "Sign me," and threw eight hundred thousand dollars on the table, and they they signed us. I wouldn't doubt it because Jay Z was money. doing it independent on his own. You know right, what I mean? he but he was also a dope boy. So you a big so big dope boy. He had dope boy money. Okay, <laughs> so but it's out his, it's out there. He so I mean he told it and he told it his so whole he story. He bought his way in. 
That's what they say. That's what I hear. Well, even even if he bought his way in, he's paid his dues right now. I believe. Oh yeah, I mean, that dude worth eighty so seven, ninety million a year. So he set this money on the table and said, "Sign me." I mean, he didn't need an advance. He didn't need. They didn't need to take. They didn't need to come out of pocket for him. Well, I'm not sure how that story goes. I can see him walking into radio stations with him when he was saying, play me. No, I heard it was a label. But this is just hearsay, man. And you, you said he's, he never did anything. Never mind. He never did anything. What, you, what are you talking about? He still talking about them tendencies. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and that was it. That's how he uh, got on. He paid his way. He paid his way. <laughs> and you said he, he you never did anything gay. That you was know it. what? I've noticed. He paid. Jay, what's up? That with you, you have you pay a lot of attention to what's gay and what's not gay. I pay attention to everything what's in the world because I like to say stuff that people won't say. That's yeah. all me all day. I'm a Do tef- you like drag queens? You know, I don't have a problem with gay people. Period. Are you homophobic? I don't, I don't have person? a problem. What? Are you homophobic? Ha- homophobic? What do you mean by that? A phobia of homosexuality. <laughs> a phobia of homosexuality. <laughs> no, homophobic. I don't think everybody is gay. No. I don't think like that at all. I, I actually, when it comes down to gay people, I don't mind gay men at all. So how do you I act hate, around flamboyantly gay? I hate undercovers. That's what I hate. Oh, yeah. That's the only thing that I Them just the ones like. I don't have like a problem with gay people yeah. at all. Gay I love, I love they gay They human. They human. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you gay if you're a man and you straight and you feel like every gay man want to hit on you. That's yeah. a gay yeah, tendency. Yeah, then you'd be like, yeah. 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 That's yeah, a gay yeah. tendency. Well, no, I don't think that's homophobia. I think that's you secretly want those men to hit yeah, on you, so yeah. you keep going around like, man, I think he's hitting on yeah, me. Yeah, I think that's No, gay. not really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know a lot of guys, maybe you want like to. Like, yeah, they if, really, if you could be. I think, I think so. If you could be somewhere and you see a whole bunch of, like, gay men and it's other people, you know what I'm saying, and, and you feel uncomfortable.